In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to add some tables to your content on your WordPress site. So these tables could be used for comparing different products on your affiliate website or showing off some pricing information or whatever you want, really. We're gonna be using a free plugin, so uh, no money to spend today, just a quick install and a bit of configuration and we're all done. So let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. I hope you're all well. So I'm always banging on about creating content, um, especially if you're running an affiliate marketing website, then content is king, as they say. And when it comes to adding content, you don't wanna just be adding boring old text content. You want rich content full of lots of nice formatting and images and videos and tables. Tables are a great way to show off different products and to compare and add value to your content. So for example, you might be reviewing um, some different products in your particular niche, and you can use a table to easily show off the different features across the products, um, the prices, um, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So it makes it really easy for your visitors to choose which product is best for them. So as I've already said, we're gonna be using a free plugin uh, it's really easy to use and it comes with some really nice looking themes um, to make your tables kind of stand out and look the part. And there is a premium version available as well if you want to spend a bit of money and, and get kind of all the features. But the good thing about this plugin is the free version has got lots of features and that's probably all you're going to need. So um, that's enough looking at my face. Let's get on the computer, get these tables set up. Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna be using one of my test sites rather than do it on a live site. So this site is just a basic WordPress site. I think it's running the storefront theme, which is a WooCommerce theme. But uh, the plugin we're gonna be using today will work with any theme you like. So uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about the theme I'm running. So let's install that plugin. Uh, to do that, I'm gonna go into dashboard. I'm already logged into the site. Uh, go to plugins and then add new. Uh, and then I'm gonna do a search for pricing tables. Okay, and the one we want is this one here, pricing tables by Subsistic. Let's install that. I like this uh, particular plugin because the free version has got lots of features, and so you probably won't need the premium version, which is good. So we can do everything we need for free. So I'm just gonna activate that by clicking the activate button. And then we're done. Now we can start creating our tables. So, oh, I don't know why I did that. So to set up a table, we go into this bit down here, pricing table by Subsistic. We go to add new table, and then we can give it a name. Let's just call it a test table. And then we can select the um, kind of theme we want, the style we want. So it really depends on what sort of thing you're gonna do, whether you're comparing kind of prices, or, uh, or features, um, there's, there's a few to choose from. You get all these, I think there's what one, uh, seven there or so, included with the free one. If you want some more though, there is a load available in the pro version. Let's go for this one. Okul, Okul, and click save. Now we're ready to start playing around with it. So it's pretty easy, you can just come over here and just change you know, the prices, whatever you need to do. Uh, change the uh, headings. It's really cool, you can just kind of, you know, just choose what you want. So really easy, you can then add links, you know, to the buttons, you click on link, and then you could add your affiliate link or your link to some other content on your site. Um, you can have ticks um, for different features. So maybe this one doesn't have a control panel. We can go to change icon and then you've got all these different icons to choose from and there is a cross icon as well. I think it's actually called times. Um, you know, like a multiplication times, that sort of thing. There we go, times. So there we go, that one doesn't have the control panel. And yeah, it's really cool. If you wanna change the colors, you can do that. You know, you wanted that a little bit greener. Really easy to use, and yeah, I love this plugin for free, it's perfect. Um, so you can really do what you like with it. Um, 
I don't like this black border across the top. Um, do you see that? I think we'll get rid of that in a second. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to add it to a post or a page first. So I'm just gonna save that. Then what we need is this short code. So just highlight that and then copy it to clipboard. Let's create a new page. Now the table, this one has got three columns, so it is quite wide. So what I'm gonna do on my page, let's just call this test table. I'm gonna go for the full width template, just so it's got plenty of room. This theme, um, the content columns are quite narrow anyway because there's like a, a sidebar both sides. So you'll obviously need to adjust the width of your table uh, depending on the theme you're using, maybe have less columns or or whatever, or, or switch to a full width, full width, a full width uh, template. But anyway, now if I'm just gonna switch to the text editor, I can just paste in that short code, click publish, go to view page, there is our table. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So yeah, I don't like this black thing across the top of this border. So to do that, we well, to remove it, I should say, if we go back into the um, pricing tables, the show all tables, there it is. I'm just gonna click on that. And I'm just gonna click on that and then I'm gonna go up here and go to edit CSS. And I think it's this border here. I'm just gonna knock that down to zero picks. On those three and then click okay. Still got a bit of a shadow. You might want to lose that too. I could lose that by getting rid of this box shadow here. There we go. That looks better to me. Let's save. Then we can go back to our page and take a look. There we go. So that's it. We're all done. Good luck with your tables. There we go then, I hope you found that useful. I hope you got some tables uh, set up and added to your content on your WordPress website. Uh, let me know how you got on in the comments below. We'd love to hear how your site is going and, and all that kind of stuff. And obviously if you've got any questions, leave them below as well and I'll do my best to try and answer them. If you're not already subscribed, then uh, do click on the little eagle there and be sure to click the bell to be notified when I do upload a new video, which tends to be once a week, all going well. Here's a video just for you. Uh, specially selected just for you hope you enjoy it and here's my other channel uh, do go check it out until next time bye for now